Hello, everybody. We have some more bridge tips for you today. I hope you'll have fun with them. Hmm, let's see. Do you always win the postmortem if you return partner's suit? Well, I'd say it's usually a pretty good idea to lead partner's suit and return partner's suit, but there are times that maybe you should think about the whole hand and perhaps lead it right away or maybe wait let's take a look here we have the first hand the auction is up here in the right hand corner and south has opened one no trump north bid two club stamen he has a four card major and south bid two diamonds and north is a little bit aggressive he only has nine high but he's got lots of middle cards. Take a look at all those and decides to bid game because he knows South is an excellent declarer. And he didn't come up against you guys who are excellent defenders. So let's see what happens. The auction has gone where they've ended up in three no by South and your favorite partner led the three of clubs. Okay, so you're playing fourth best leads. What are your thoughts? What should you be thinking when you see the dummy? I know what I do. What do you do? It's a good idea to count everything you can. You hear it all the time. Count, count, count. Count what you can. So we count the high card points from the north and they have nine high card points. And we have 12, that's 21. And South has at least 15, if not 16. So that's, you know, that's not a lot of points for your partner over here. He might have three, four, I don't know, not too many points. But he did lead a low club, so we assume he might have an honor. Have you thought about everything now? All right, let's see what happens. It has gone the three of clubs, declarer plays the five, you put up your highest one, which was the 10, and declarer wins the jack. So far, so good. All right, so now declarer, after winning the jack of clubs, plays the two of diamonds, your partner plays the five, and declarer puts in the 10. Started with king 10, nine, four, and you win the queen of diamonds. Now, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts for the defense? Are you planning your defense? I've planned mine. Let's think about it. What should you do after you win the queen of diamonds and why? Well, I would be thinking that declarer probably has the ace of spades. He's not going after his best suit here. So he probably has the ace and it's gonna take the four spade tricks. He's working on the diamond suit and he's letting me in when I have two honors in the diamonds, two tricks. He didn't try to go to the board, which was odd, to try and finesse me out of one of my diamond tricks. So therefore, I think he has clubs pretty much locked up. I don't think he's worried about me coming through him to my partner in clubs. Otherwise, he certainly might have taken at least one diamond finesse. So therefore, I don't think we're going to defeat this hand by my returning partner's suit. My partner probably has an honor, but he certainly doesn't have ace queen fifth or ace king fifth or any kind of good holding like that why because he can't have six points remember he only has like three or four points because we counted up our points he might have one of those club honors but i don't think it's enough so what should i think of doing i need to take five tricks i'm probably going to get two diamond tricks where are the other three going to come from? Hmm. Did you plan? 
I made my plan. I'm going to switch to hearts and hope that my partner might have the king of hearts. Probably unlikely, but there's room for his three, four points, maybe, depending on how many points South opened his one no trump with. He might have as little as the jack of hearts. And even the jack of hearts might help me set this hand. So I'm going to return the two of hearts, hoping that I can take my two diamond tricks and maybe three heart tricks. I know from the auction that South does not have four hearts. Why? Because there was a stamen bid. So South has denied four hearts. Let's see how I did. Huh. Lo and behold, my favorite partner did have the Jack of Hearts. And you can see partner had queen fifth of clubs, not quite enough for me to set the hand if I return a club. If I return a club, Declare is just gonna win the king. And now Declare is going to knock out my other diamond and he's going to make his nine tricks. Now, if I return the heart and Declare goes up with the king, we still are going to be able to defeat the hand. You see, sometimes it's right to return partner suit and other times you have to think about the whole hand. Did you get that one right? Let's take a look at the next hand. Okay, we had an auction where West has opened one diamond and North was quiet, and East bid two spades. And in their system, two spades is a preemptive bid. So it should show less than six points and six spades. South now comes in and bids three hearts. West passes, and now we look at North's hand. North has a pretty good hand, and his partner did bid at the three level, so he decides to bid four hearts. And now West is in the hot seat. Now you're West. You leave the ace of spades and you take a look at dummy. All right, you take a look at dummy and you start thinking about planning your defense. Hmm, all right, see what happens. Okay, everybody follows to the spade and your partner plays the Ten of Spades, which is an encouraging card for your side, saying he likes spades. Now, what is your plan for defeating the contract? Remember, they're in four hearts, they're in four hearts, and you need to take four tricks. So, think, 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 think. What is your plan? Hmm, I've made mine. What are you thinking? All right, I am gonna put the king of clubs on the table. Why am I gonna play the king of clubs? Because I'm going to count for our side four tricks. I'm going to hope that my partner has the king of spades as he said he liked it. And I'm gonna try and take my king of clubs. I know Declare is gonna win the ace. I'm going to get a club trick with my king queen, I hope. My ace of diamonds is a trick, so that's one diamond, one club, and hopefully two spades. But if I lead the spade, even though I know partner supposedly likes it from his carding, he won't know what to do. He's got a problem on which suit to lead back, the diamonds or the clubs, looking at this holding into the king queen, into the ace jack, Maybe he'll return a trump. Maybe he'll play a third spade. I don't know. But why should I make him guess when I have a clear way that I think I can set the hand? So if you know the proper defense, do it. So if you lead the king of clubs, Declare can win the ace. He can pull all of his trump. Okay. But eventually he's going to have to lead a diamond towards his king queen. And you can take your ace, cash your club, and play your spade to your partner, and voila, four hearts down one. 
If you return the spade first and your partner doesn't switch to the right suit, declarer can now, let's say your partner switches to a diamond, okay? You can win your ace and you can now play the king of clubs, but declarer is gonna be able to pitch his losing club on the queen of diamonds. So you need to collect your tricks before declarer can throw away and pitch. So therefore, you love the fact that your partner encouraged you in spades, but that can wait till after you've set up the tricks for the defense. Did you do it that way? I hope so. Let's take a look at this next hand. All right, let's see. South was the dealer and South opened four spades. We can see it up here. He opened four spades. That's more of a preemptive bid than a good hand. So remember that it's a preempt. So it's gone four spades, all pass. Your favorite partner West led the two of hearts and you can be playing third and fifth, third and low or fourth best leads. It's not gonna make any difference in how you plan your defense here. Let's see. All right, it's gone two of hearts. Declara played the five and here you won the king. You have ace, king, third to start with and south has played the three. So here you are in with the king of hearts they're in four spades and you want to try and take four tricks what is your plan for the defense did you think about it i've made my plan what did i do i played the ace of clubs why did I play the ace of clubs instead of continuing partner's lead? Well, I'm thinking my partner led a small heart and we might be able to take three heart tricks if my partner has the queen and we can take the ace of clubs. However, my partner might not have the queen of hearts. They might have the jack of hearts or some other heart that they led low from and he might have the king of clubs instead. So I lay down the ace of clubs, which is sort of including partner in the decision-making process and in the defense. You should have good partnership agreements here for the defense. It's an asking bid, sort of like when you bid stamen partner, do you have a four card major? This one is saying partner, do you like clubs? or do you want me to go back to hearts? I rate to have the ace of hearts with my king because the declarer did not win it, okay? So I rate to have it. So partners should know that when I lay down the ace of clubs, I'm asking, do you want me to continue clubs or do you want me to go back to hearts? So let's take a look at the hand. And as we can see, partner did have the jack of hearts, not the queen. The declarer had the queen of hearts, but my partner did have the king of clubs. So we need to cash our two club tricks and our two heart tricks and not try for three heart tricks because on the third heart, declarer is going to win the queen, pull Trump and get rid of his club losers on the diamonds. So by including partner in the conversation for the defense, you get to win. And you get to win by not returning partner's suit quite yet. All right, let's take a look at our last hand. The auction has gone one no by south. North has a really good club suit. They only have eight high, and some of you might have a system for where you can invite showing a good club suit. Others don't. We're going to hope because we have an entry or North is gonna hope that they can make three no. So it's gone one no, three no with this good club suit. And you are east in the hot seat right now. 
and your partner has led the two of spades. Okay, so you get to see the dummy and your partner has led the spade and you hold the ace jack fourth. Okay, what is your plan for the defense? How are you going to get that enemy and beat the enemy and set them? You need to take how many tricks? Five. Ready? What is your plan? My plan is to switch to the king of hearts. Why am I switching to the king of hearts instead of returning partner suit? I certainly like partner suit and I own the ace of clubs so I can hold up on the clubs, right? I can hold up. Well, let's think about that. Yes, I can hold up on the club suit, which certainly is going to be a source of tricks for the declarer. However, there's still an entry with the ace of hearts, still an entry. So knowing that I could hold up on hearts, I'm, I mean, hold up on clubs, I'm gonna try and knock out the heart entry since I own the king and the queen of hearts. So I'm going to play the king of hearts to get rid of that ace. I don't know, so let's see. I played the king of hearts and declarer decides to duck. Now what did I do? Make your plan, think, 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 think. Well, let's see, I've got one heart in the bag and I'm going to probably get the ace of clubs. I've got one spade. So I think my partner has at least one honor in spades. So now that I've got the king of hearts there, I'm gonna go back and lead a spade. So I'm gonna to return to my partner's suit now. And I'm gonna try and collect our three spade tricks, our one heart trick, and the ace of clubs. How'd I do? I, if I return the spade right away before knocking out the ace of hearts, Declare is going to win the king, and I will be able to win the ace of clubs and hold up but declarer is going to have enough timing on the hand to where we can't set them anymore because he can get back there with the ace of hearts. We could still take our three spade tricks that we have coming and the ace of clubs, but that's only four. But if I play the king of hearts and now switch to the spade, we are going to collect three spades, a heart and a club. And even if he wins the ace of hearts, we're still going to be able to most likely set the hand and we're gonna be able to take a heart, three spades and a club. Well done, well done for the defense. I hope you enjoyed the tips today. And I want to thank you for watching. If you're interested in any kind of extra information or lessons or anything, you can write down my email and email me or give me a shout. Here's my phone number. And most importantly, I hope you had fun today and have fun at the tables. And I look forward to seeing you soon.